Um, so let's do another um, electrophilic addition on one of these uh, um, styrene type molecules. Um, and again, you can see that the regioselectivity here, you're essentially going to get, I don't know what it says here, what does it say? 84%. Um, so that's your major product, okay? So why is that? Why does it go that chlorine on? And of course, this is going to be um, both an antimers of that. But why does the chlorine only go there and not go there? Um, because if you look at them, right, they're both secondary carbons. So you would expect, I mean, now that you, we've done the other problems, you shouldn't expect, but you would have expected before we did this, when we, you only knew about electrophilic additions, um, without that benzene ring uh, next door to it, uh, you might expect that you would have a 50-50 mixture of the chlorines being on either of those two carbons. But anyways, let's go over this electrophilic addition. So this is the molecule indine. So, okay. So um, the question is, uh, which, well, you should know, but which carbon is this hydrogen going to go to? So of course, if the chlorine is going to go to that, or that carbon, the hydrogen must be going to that carbon there. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll look at the product of that reaction. So remember, there was the one hydrogen on there. So let's go ahead and just put both of those hydrogens just to emphasize. And we, we have one hydrogen here. Why? Because, of course, there was that one hydrogen there. So we know that this should be the intermediate because of what the product was, that the chlorine was going to go there. But the question is, why would it go there as opposed to there? What's the difference in those two carbons? But remember, we talked about when you've got this positive charge, alpha to the benzene ring, what will happen is you've got a bunch of resonance structures, right? So. Um, Let's draw one of those resonance structures. So we'll just move that electron pair up there. So as you can see, I'm not going to include all the hydrogen. As you can see, we've already dispersed that uh, positive charge over two carbons, right? So let's do it again, see if we can do it again. And of course we can. So now it's over three carbons, right? Can we do it again? Yes. I'm drawing, starting to draw too small. So this board is too small. My other room is occupied <laughs> this morning. So. so there's another resonance form. Okay. And then, of course, if you did this one, flipped it back to here, you get this one again, okay? And, of course, that's the most reactive of those carbons because if you um, react there, you're not breaking up the aromaticity of the ring. So, anyways, um, well, we didn't finish putting our reaction together. So we got the Cl minus. So anyways, why do we make this carbocation uh, over the other carbocation? What carbocation would that have been?
So we essentially make this carbocation exclusively over this one, even though they're both secondary. But it's because this one has so many resonant structures. And then, of course, what's going to happen, so this one's not made. What's going to happen is the chlorine's going to attack like that. Questions on this one? Does it make sense? So again, oh, sorry. What, what was, do you have a question? You show that before another structure, you say that this have a lot of the chameleon risk. Resonance structure? So I don't know why you chose this one. Uh huh. And Maybe not the other one? Yes. Because resonance, resonance, these are all resonance structures. Yes. It makes if you have a lot of resonance, it makes that intermediate more stable. The other one didn't have any resonance oh, structures. You, can, you, can you can't push your that. electrons. Yeah, you can't the do that one. Reaction. Yeah, we can. Why don't Why don't we leave this up, uh, all of this part up, and we'll draw that other intermediate and try to draw some resonance structures and try to disperse that positive charge around. Let's do that. Okay. That's a good question by the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good question, yeah.